Thank you everyone for being here today and thank you for allowing me to talk to all of you. Unfortunately, I was not able to join you in person, but I am honored to have the opportunity to address this remarkable group of women leaders and advocates. I want to recognize Women's Intercultural Network for their excellent work to bring everyone together today and for their constant advocacy for women everywhere. I also want to take a moment to recognize my colleague, Lynn Woolsey, who's here today and to thank her for her tireless work for women everywhere. Lynn, thank you for your advocacy and enjoy your retirement. You will be greatly missed. Earlier this month, we marked the 82nd anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment, which guaranteed women's suffrage throughout this country. That was a critical step in advancing gender equity, but even today, there is still a great deal to be done. That's what makes this fall's election so important. I was proud to be able to join my colleagues and President Obama in supporting the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, which made it easier for women to sue their employers for gender discrimination. I was also proud to join them in voting for the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, which made it so that insurance companies could no longer treat being a woman as a pre-existing condition. Unfortunately, there are many candidates and even elected leaders who don't believe in these efforts and who want to run and turn back the clock on the advances that women have made over the years. It is critical that all of you not only get out to vote yourselves this fall, but that you encourage everyone you know to do the same. We must work together to ensure that women's rights are protected and that our society continues to progress. Thanks again for your efforts and for including me today. I look forward to working with all of you to advance all these goals.